I'll come in the name. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. You're welcome in the name of the Lord. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, yeah. man. Hallelujah. Christmas of you work. And we give God the glory. And many people are in the Christmas mood, celebrating with their families. And of course, by the grace of God, we're not going to take too long today. Hallelujah. God bless you. Welcome. Welcome on mm -hmm. IG. Welcome on Facebook. Welcome Zoom. I want to appreciate you. And I want to thank God for this gift of Christmas. Hallelujah. I just want to worship God. Worthy to be praised. Amen. In the attitude of gratitude to God today, Christmas songs, Christmas carols, I still want to praise God and bless God with our new, new song. Hallelujah. I believe God that we praise God. Mm, just to avoid any like All right, so sorry about that interruption. We're just going to go ahead and watch it because I'm not going to be like it. Lord, your Lord, you changed your head, Lord. You are the Lord, you changed your head, Lord. You are the Lord, you changed yet no. You are the Lord, you changed yet no. Let's take some joy to the world. Joy to the world. Hallelujah. If you know it, you can join me and let us sing together. Joy to the world. Joy to the Lord, Lord, the Lord is come. Let every sing the King. Let every heart 
Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let all your sons implore. Why fields and flaws, rocks, fields and plains? Repeat the sun in joy, repeat the sun in joy, repeat, repeat the sun in joy. He rules the world with fruit and grace, and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness, the wonders of his love, the wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love. Father, we bless your name, we worship you, we exalt your name. We are grateful to you for this great privilege to come once again on this seventh day, the day of perfection. This will be the last day in this month before we get into the crossover. By the grace of God, we want to thank God. This is the 14th day of this program. We did seven days in November. Before December, now we have done another seven days. Somebody shout hallelujah. Thank God, because the God of perfection will surely perfect every good work which is started already in mm. our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm. So today, by the message of God, we are going to be looking at the topic, perfection of his beauty, perfection. And First Peter chapter 5, verse 10 our uh, text scripture and um, because it's Christmas we're not going to take too long so that we can go and enjoy the Christmas with our families amen somebody shout at the layer say amen you agree with me but this is the government covenant and the Bible says that the end thing is better than the beginning we have not totally ended this program but this is the seventh day for this lab the next one will be crossing over to the new year and we're going to complete it in January. Hallelujah. We're going to finish it in January when we shall be redeeming the year 2024 and it shall be overflow by the grace of God. Amen. Amen. Well, let's look at this first Peter chapter 5 together, verse 10, which is what we are going to be using to discuss and pray tonight. Or this morning. First Peter chapter 5, verse 10, it says, But may the God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after you have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Remember yesterday we did the dominion mandate on the sixth day. And on this seventh day, we are doing what I call press. Pest, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle. But I choose to add arrow for this ministration. Press. So we are pressing forward. We are pressing forward victoriously. And please permit me if I maybe just sing one more hymn because of the, th the theme that we are doing, I'm going to be doing, I'm pressing on, I'm pressing on the upward way. I'm pressing on, hallelujah. Because I believe we are pressing on, we are entering a new year. So we are going to be taking, I'm pressing on. I'm hoping that we'll be able to take all the song and the lyrics together, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Join me if you know the song. I'm pressing on the upward way. Hallelujah. Shall be singing it together. I'm pressing on. We have to press on. No matter what we have been through, the Lord said we perfect. 
establish, strengthen, and settle us. After we have suffered, I believe we have suffered some things this year. We have been through some things this year. But the God of all grace is encouraging us to press, press on the upward way. There is glory ahead. He said, the God of all grace, who has called us to his eternal glory. So there is glory ahead. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Hallelujah. I think I'll just sing it directly. I don't want to go with the whatever they are using to play it. I want to be, I want to make it very natural. Let's take it together if you know it. I'm pressing on the upward way. I'm pressing on the upward way. New heights I'm gaining in every day. You'll pray in us. I'm upward bound. We're onward bound to 2024. Lord, plant my feet on fire ground. My heart has no desire to stay. Yeah, doubts arise. Our fears dismay, though some may dwell, fear those are bound. My prayer, my aim is high, yeah, grand. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My faith on heaven, stable land. A higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on high ground. I want to live above the world. Don't say can die. I need a home for faith has God. The joyful sound, the song of saints on high, yeah, grand. Lord, lift me up, Lord, lift me up, and let me stand. My faith on heaven, stable land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plants my feet on high, yeah, grand. Let's take, Lord, lift me up again. Lord, lift me up and let me stand. My feet on earth, full stable land, a higher plane than I have found. Lord, plants my feet. On high, yeah, ground. I want to scale, I want to scale the utmost height. The utmost height and catch a gleam of glory bright. For still I pray till heaven I found. Lord, plant my feet on high. Yeah, grand. Lord, lift me up. Lord, lift me up. And let me stand. By faith on earth, full stable land. A higher place than I have found. Lord, plants my feet on high. Yeah, grand. Can you just turn it to prayer and ask God to plant your feet on higher ground? This is the seventh day. It is the last day of this lap of this program. God take over, God of wonders take over. And First Peter 5.10 is what we are using to wrap up this session of it. The God of all grace. The God of all grace. Think about it. This is the last lap we are in. We are counting exactly 
six days from today to the end of this year. And today happens to be Christmas. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate you because you are here even on a day like this where some people are just carried away, excited and just, you know, celebrating. We are celebrating. But this time around, we are celebrating in his presence. This is the best place to be. It's the best place to be in his presence. Hallelujah. So please join me. Let us sing this song. Take your place. You may not hear it clearly on Zoom, but don't worry. On It's on IG. Take your place. We want God to take his place. We want to enthrone the King of Glory today as we are celebrating Christmas. Hallelujah. So I'm going to be singing along my new song, Take Your Place. And then we are going to go into prophetic worship and declaration. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yesterday I, I uh, streamed it on Zoom and Facebook, but I don't want any flagging, even though later they, they release it because of my song. But I don't want to put people through that. Have your way, sweet Holy Spirit. Let's worship Him. Thank you, Lord. Take your place. Let's ask Him to take His place in our life. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Take your place. You can get it on YouTube. It's my new song. Take your place, oh Lord. Take your place, O oh Lord, in the beauty of your holiness. Take your place, O oh Lord, take your place. Let's enthrone him. It's the seventh day of this program. We want him to take his place. On Christmas Day, we exalt him. Take your place, O oh Lord, by your power, O oh Lord. We conquer, O oh Lord, by your wisdom, O oh Lord, we possess, O oh Lord, by your grace. Grace, Lord, we are saved. We are saved, O oh Lord, by your wisdom, O oh Lord, we possess, O oh Lord, take your place, O oh Lord. Take your place, O Lord, in the beauty of your holiness. Take your place, O Lord, by your mercies, O Lord. We are blessed, O Lord, by your power, O Lord. We conquer, O Lord. Take your place, O Lord. Take your place, O oh, oh Lord, in the beauty of the world. Take your place, O oh, Lord. Sin verse 11 tells us, In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. At his right hand, he lies forevermore. Take your place. Take your place, O oh, Lord. Take your place, O oh Lord, in the beauty of the holiness. Take your place. Let's worship him. Ask him to take his place. It's Christmas. We are ending this year victoriously. Hallelujah. In a glorious manner. I your goodness and mercy, I will take your power and your love. Take your place, O oh Lord. Take your place, O oh Lord. In the beauty of your holiness, take your place, O oh Lord. Take your place, there is fullness of joy. There are pleasures forevermore. Take your place, O oh Lord. Take your place, O oh Lord. In the beauty of your holiness, take your place, O oh Lord. Place, O oh Lord. Your place. So, Lord, 
In the beauty of godliness, take your place, so Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Let's just turn that to prayer. Let's just turn that to prayer. Say, Lord, take your place in my life. Have your way in my life. Take your place in my in my ministry, in my marriage, in my health, in my finances, in my career, everything about your life. Just allow him. Say, Lord, take your place. Have your way, Holy Spirit. Take your place, my Father, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I enthrone you, King of glory. Have your way in my life, in every department of my life. Take your place in Jesus' name. Amen. We enthrone the King of glory. Let's take our confession in Psalm 24, 7 to 10. Uh, Merry Christmas once again. Lift up your head, O you gates, and be lifted, you everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Is the Lord strong and mighty? The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, though you get, even lift you up your everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? No, who is the King of glory? Seller. Amen. I want to welcome those of you joining again on a day like this Christmas Day, where most people are, and I can understand, they are celebrating. We are celebrating in our own way in the presence of the Lord, just like we saw. And in that song, there is fullness of joy. If you know you are joyful on a day like this, joy has come to the world. I would like to see your reaction. Shout hallelujah. She gives me a thumbs up to say thank you, Jesus. Just to say amen. Say glory be to God. Merry Christmas. I want to say Merry Christmas to you. Thank you for joining. Merry Christmas. Let's take this one minute to appreciate God and appreciate each other. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Merry Christmas to you on IG. Merry Christmas on Facebook. Merry Christmas on Zoom. Merry Christmas all the platforms. I appreciate you all. So today, like we said, First Peter 5.10, but the God of all grace, the God of all grace has kept you, has brought you this far. The God of all grace has been your Ebenezer. The God of all grace has been your Jehovah Shalom. So I've given you peace all through this year, despite the turbulence, despite the challenges. Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from all. The God of all grace delivers you from all afflictions. Sometimes when we are going through some challenges, it looks as if that is the end. <clears throat> but it is not over until the Lord says it is over. How many times mm -hmm. are this year? The devil made you to feel that it was over. He's a deceiver. He's a liar. Hallelujah. He made you to feel that you will not even see a day like this. He made you to feel that you will not see the end of this year. But I have good news for you. If the God of all grace has kept you for 359 days, yes, 359, six days more to make it 365, is it the six days that are left that will be hard for him? I want you to just appreciate God. We're going to be prophesying and praying at the same time. I want you to bless God for the 359 okay. that he has kept you. Bless him for making you to see another Christmas of 2023. Some saw the Christmas of 2022. Some even we are still here till 24th. That was yesterday, a few hours. But the God of all grace has preserved you and I to see a day like this. Why don't you go ahead and just say, Father, I bless your name. Lord, I thank you, the God of all grace. You kept me through the storms, through the dark times, through the challenges, through the, the turbulence, the storms, the shakings. You, you took you took you through the headaches that you had this year, the stomach aches that you had, the leg aches, whatever diagnosis that you had. He has kept you, even though the doctors may have even told you, giving you short time. We have seen God reverse it. The God of all grace can change the situation. He changes situation. That is what he specializes in doing. And yet he changes not. It's the unchangeable changer. He changes not yet. He changes situation. How many times has he changed situation when you thought that was the end of the road? Psalm 34 verse 19 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from all because he's the God of all grace. First Peter 5.10, the God of all grace, he has called you to his eternal glory. There is glory ahead. 
regardless of your story, regardless of your background, regardless of what you have been through, there is glory ahead. There is greater glory ahead. The Bible says our light affliction is for a moment. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining. Our light affliction is for a moment. God looks at it as a moment. Why we feel over, we think it's over. Have you ever noticed that when God intervenes in that situation, he looks as if nothing happened? He said, weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the world. In the morning, joy has come to the world. On a day like this, why are we joyful? Because we are taking, we are reminded, we are reminded that we are not alone. Jesus is in us. Greater is He that is in us than He that is in the world. We are reminded that the world, Jesus, came to this world, to this limited world. W O R L D. The world is limited. Jesus, the Word Himself, W O R D. As the fountain of living waters is the life that never ends. Even though life ends in the world, there are many people their life has ended. But in Christ, there is no such thing as the end. Because even when it's standing here on earth, it has just begun. Eternity is forever. Hallelujah. So today we are reminded that Jesus came to this sinful world. He is the word, W-R-O-D, that is unlimited. Who came to this limited world? So when you have him, like I say, he's in you. He's with you. Emmanuel is with you. And he's also for you. Hallelujah. He's for you. So threefold. So you are all rounded. All He's merciful. He's full of grace. When, when when Mary was, you know, received the visitation in the book of Luke chapter 1, he said, Hail Mary, full of grace, full of grace, full of grace. There is grace. He said, the God of all grace is, is the God of all grace that has kept you and I to see a day like this. And we are counting days. And the God of all grace that has kept you to see Christmas is able to see, cause you to cross over victoriously to twenty. 24. So today is Christmas. We are just going to look at the gift that we have. How are we perfected? It was, we are looking at perfected in his beauty, perfected by his grace, established by his grace, strengthened by his grace, and of course settled. He's going to settle us as we are even entering the new year. The beauty of today being the last, the seventh day of this lab, before we get to the crossover, the last one will be in the new year by God. We are crossing over because many of us have church programs and it continues, but it continues between you and your close in your closet and in your church program. But we will come back again by the grace of God as we are entering the new year. So the God of all grace, number one thing I want us to look at. His name in Isaiah chapter 9. For unto us a child is born. Today is Christmas. So we're looking at this. The name that is above all names. A child is born. Unto us a son is given. And the government will be upon his shoulder. And his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father. Prince of peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it in judgment and justice. From that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Hallelujah. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will ensure that not only have you seen this day Christmas, but in the few days that are left, the zeal of the Lord of hosts, who has kept you and all yours till this day Christmas, the zeal of the Lord of hosts, who has preserved you to see another year, who has been keeping you six days left, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will ensure that you not only see 2023, 
for you will cross over and all your cross over victoriously to 2024. Nothing missing, nothing broken. Hallelujah. Amen. So the first thing we're going to, another prayer we're going to pray before we look at all these qualities, what the God of all grace, what Jesus did for us, wants us to pray one prayer. That in these few days that are left, remember how Pharaoh and the Egyptians were drowned in the Red Sea. That same Red Sea that drowned Pharaoh and the Egyptians was parted for the children of Israel to cross over victoriously. So you are going to pray the prayer like this. Father, as I prepare to cross over in these few days, as we celebrate the finished work, as we celebrate Jesus, we are calling on God himself to ensure that every Pharaoh, the first lap of this program was God hang, God of wonders, to hang, help us, ensure that all our stubborn pursuers are drowned, all the hammers are hung, in their own gallows, they fall into their own gallows. All the heralds, we remember that even in a season like this, the firstborn children were sons were killed when Jesus was born. So we're going to pray to God that every herald, every herald that is after our destiny or the destiny of our children that is still trying because there are still some things that are not of God that are happening. I don't want to be negative, but I want you to pray for yourself. I say, Lord, God of all grace, you have brought me this far. Take me to the end. Cross me over to the other side. And I command all my stubborn pursuers, every enemy of my life and my destiny that is standing in the way and still trying to stop me from crossing over, command them to be drowned in the Red Sea of this year 2023. This year is rolling away really quick and we are pressing forward like we took and pressing on the up onward way. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Say, the zeal of the Lord will pay for me. Say, Father, let your zeal ensure that all stubborn pursuers, every powers that are waging war against my crossing over, powers that do not want me to cross over. Remember this is takeover. God of wonders, take over. You cannot take over if you don't cross over. Say, my Lord and my God, the power to cross over, the power to be able to possess my inheritance in the name of Jesus. Another thing is for your inheritance, inheritance to be there settled in heaven. Ephesians 1, 3, blessed be the Lord who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places. But do you know that there are people that their blessings are still tied in heaven? There are people that their blessings have not even moved down at all. Remember Daniel when he prayed. 21 days, the first day, the prayer was heard. It's one thing for your prayer to be heard. It's another thing for it to be answered. Say, my father, my God, in these few days that are left, any power that wants to stop me from crossing over and taking over, what are you waiting for? I command them to be drowned in the Red Sea. Lift up your voice and pray in the name that is above every other name. Makaribo Sotoria. Likara Mashandaria Makutayanda. Mayeke Terebo Sotoria and Debo Shikaraba. Mala Brunda Yama Gaziga Dayanda. Le Brando Kasetere Mashandaria. Why are we so happy that Jesus came? Why are we so happy that Jesus was born? We are happy because in that name, the Bible has told us here in Isaiah chapter 9, his name is wonderful. You are going to call on Jesus to do wonderful things in your life. As you remember him today, that is the beauty. Yes, today is Christmas. We could have been sleeping or eating and dining with our family. Oh, sure, we are going to do that very shortly. But we want to speak some misery. We want to speak some things into this, into this day. This special day, his name is called Wonderful. So because your Christmas, you want him to be exalted in your life. So we have forgot that highly exalted him. And giving him a name that is above all names. So why don't you exalt him and say, Lord, you are wonderful. Thank you for the wonderful things he has even done before. Say, Lord, I thank you for doing wonderful things in my life. Father, Lord, God Almighty, show yourself mighty and strong. Do wonderful things in my life. That man at the beautiful gate, oh, he showed himself as wonderful. By the time he received his healing, Peter and Joseph, silver and gold we don't have. But what we have, we give to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Rise up and, and walk. It is this Jesus that we are celebrating today. Why don't you begin to speak to that deadness in your womb, in any part of your body. Command it to rise up right now because his name is wonderful. Ask God to do wonderful things in your life. 
wonderful things that the whole world will marvel. Ask him to do marvelous things in your, in, in your life. He's a counselor. He's the greatest counselor. No matter the counsel any friend will give to you, if it is not backed up by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is our counselor. So Holy Spirit can be my counselor. Even as these days that are left in the year, there are some cancer, there are some things, information that you need. There are some things that you need to discern. There are things that God will want you to settle. So why don't you say, Father, in these few days that are left, let my spiritual antenna be sensitive. Let me be sensitive to pick up signals, to know what to do. Brethren, these few days are important. You need to know what to do next in these few days that are left. You need to ask God to tell you, how do I prepare for 2024? You don't stroll into 2024. You prepare the way. You prepare the way. Say, Lord Jesus, show me the way. Show me the way. Teach me your ways. Teach me what I need to do. Even in these few days that are left, Open my spiritual and open my eyes of understanding. Ask God to enlighten you. Some have eyes, but they cannot see. You see, your physical eyes are important, but your spiritual eyes are even more important. But Timothy who was blind physically, the reason why he received his healing, even when they tried to stop him, was his spiritual eyes were not blind. He was able to discern that that's Jesus, son of the living God. Son of uh, David, have mercy on me. He was able to discern, even though he was physically blind. Spiritually, he knew that if he could have an encounter with Jesus, that we are celebrating on a day like this, he will receive his healing. So it did not matter what people said, what people felt. It did not matter the distraction or the detractors, but that did not stop him. So why don't you lift up your voice and say, Lord, the grace to overlook my surrounding, my environment, and to press forward, grant it to me. The grace to overlook the backbitings, the grace to overlook the condemnation. Romans chapter 8, verse 1 says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them who are in Christ, who do not walk according to the flesh. Say, My Father and my God, the grace to walk by the Spirit, not by my flesh, grant unto me. That Timothy did not allow his flesh to, to, to stop him because he could have been offended and angry. Instead of facing those people who were trying to stop him, you know, trying to like frustrate him from not just saying, stop him from getting the miracle. But Timothy decided to focus on Jesus, the one that had his miracle in his hand. I want to ask you a question. Where has your focus been? All through this year, has your focus been on the God of all grace, the God of the miraculous, of the impossible, or has your focus been on the doctor's report that you received? Has your focus been on your bank account that is not leveling up? Has your focus been on the negativity? that you are surrounded with. In these few days, that is one of the things you can be intentional about. Why don't you repent and say, Lord, I repent of everywhere, everywhere I have failed to look unto you for help. Do you know that despite our our slackness, our, our uh, disloyalty, despite our unfaithfulness, God has been faithful to us. All this year, when we look back, what did we do really to, to deserve? Mercy. Why don't you repent? I said, Lord, I repent of everywhere I have been slothful. I repent of everywhere I failed to trust you. There have been times you did not trust God. You know yourself. You did not trust God, but God still came true. He said, the Bible says, He's faithful to us, even when we are not faithful. Say, Lord, I repent. In my unfaithfulness, in my disobedience, let's ask God for mercy. Let's ask Him for mercy. Uh, Psalm 51, verse 17 says, A broken and a contrite spirit the Lord will not despise. Asking for mercy. Another name that is given is mighty God. Just like I said, he's the mighty God. Whether we believe it, whether we know it or not. When you see that everything is going well for you, it's not because the enemy did not try. Because the mighty God did not give you over to the lions, the roaring lions in the year 2023. You may not have seen them physically, but you see the things you've been through, take your mind back. Some of the challenges you went through, only you understood. Only you understood what you went through. But what the devil meant for evil, God turned it around for good. See, I was just sharing the testimony of my song, Take Your Place, my new song. Take Your Place, I received it last year, February the 3rd, 2022, just when the pandemic was wrapping up. At that time, a lot of things had happened and were happening around me. 
that were not favorable. But God spoke to me, instead of focusing on those things, go into your closet. Just like that woman that Eli, Prophet Elisha told, shut the door. I shut the door. I want to say to you, in these few days that are left, that is why after today, we are shutting the door one-on-one -on -one with God. And we're going to come back as we cross over. Many of us are crossing over in our churches. We thank God for that. I may just come online and speak a word or two, but I would not want to take you out of your church program. This is time for us to shut the door. Shut the door alone with God. Jacob wrestled with God. In this, today is the seventh day of God takeover. So I want to encourage you, if you have been following this program, in these next six days that are left, shut the door. Shut it and talk to God one-on-one. -on -one. Prepare yourself. Prepare your prayer points, your thanksgiving by the grace of God. When we come in the new year, as we cross over, we are going to, it's going to be overflow. Hallelujah. I will give you all the details. But as we are continuing, we are still praying. We are thanking God again for the mighty God. I want you to take your mind back from January. I want you to begin to thank him for all the mighty things he did for you. All the deliverance. First John chapter 3 verse 8 he says, For this purpose the Son of God was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. The reason why Jesus came, why we are excited. Oh, those that don't know Jesus, don't know him. They are just buying, putting Christmas lights and all those things. If only they know the power. But today, we are thanking God. I want you to be intentional on this Christmas day. Thank him, the mighty God. We are looking at Isaiah 9, verse 6. Unto us, a son is given. A child is born, a son is given. And the government will be upon his head. His name shall be called wonderful, counsel of mighty God. So we are intentional on this Christmas day. Thank the mighty God. Thank the mighty God for saving your life. Thank the mighty God for shutting the mouth of that roaring lion once again. Thank the mighty God for making sure that all the hemans that came after you, they were hung. They are falling in their own gallows. Thank the mighty God for not giving you over. Thank the mighty God that you are in your comfort zone, in your house at this time, maybe online, wherever, praying. Thank the mighty God that you are not confined in the hospital bed. There are people like you, your age mates, younger than you, older than you, that are confined. You are not better than them. I'm not better than them. That is what the mighty God has done for you and your family. That is why you are celebrating Christmas. You are celebrating Christmas because he has given you life and life in abundance. John 10 said, the thief coming on but to still kill and destroy. I have come that thou may have life and life in abundance. Thank the mighty God for giving you life and life in abundance. This Zoe, thank him for giving you that life that comes, that blessing that makes rich and add no sorrow. Hallelujah. Now, everlasting father, we are still thanking him from Isaiah 9, verse 6. Remember, it's the God of all grace who has called us to his eternal glory. After we have suffered a while, perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle us. We are looking at this using what the power in that name is the everlasting father. You want to thank God for being your everlasting father. Thank God for your biological father. Some people still have their biological father. We thank God. For some of us that don't have a biological father, you know, again, this scripture really resonates with us. Everlasting father. The father that will remain even when your biological father is gone. The father that is there, even when your biological father is there, there are some things your biological father cannot do for you. Your biological father cannot heal you. Amen, somebody. Your biological father can only give you money to go and buy medication. Your biological father will take you to the doctor. <laughs> but we have the, the father of all fathers, who is the doctor of all doctors, the architect of all architects, the healer of all diseases, the provider. Even those that have so much money, millions, there are times that their money cannot even help them. Hallelujah. There are times their money might be tied down in one investment. But the father of all fathers can provide for you and give you what money cannot give. Hallelujah. Thank the everlasting father. I want you to exalt him. Say, Father, I thank you. Everlasting father, I thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for guiding me. The everlasting Father guides you. 
protects you. He provides for you. He gives you peace. The last one is the Prince of Peace. Because of our time, we are running off with him. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the Prince of Peace. Are you looking for peace? If you don't have a relationship with him and you happen to be watching this program, we have been on this for, this is actually the 14th day. We started this program. If you have not, if you did not follow from the beginning, you can go to my YouTube channel and follow. Everything is on YouTube by the grace of God. Gao Hank was the first lap. Gao Takeover. So we did the seven days in November. Now in December, another seven days. By the grace of God, when we finish, like I said, we are coming back in a big way. But this six days that are left, we are encouraged to shut the door. Shut the door and have one-on-one, -on -one, alone with God. Be able to commune with God in your local church program, your local assembly, or your personal altar. Prepare, fortify yourself. God, by the time we are coming in January, by the grace of God, we are coming, there's going to be overflow. But also watch out, like I said, there will be there might be some prophetic word that I will still speak. So the Prince of Peace. This is where we are going to round up. Perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle us. And I always add R to mine. Give you rest. And that is the peace we are talking about. Press. Perfect. In the Bible says perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle. In 1 Peter 5, 10, the God of all grace, who has called us is eternal glory. After we have suffered a while throughout this year, there have been some sufferings. But he's saying that he will perfect on a day like this. We are wrapping up with perfection of his beauty. But what does it mean to be perfected in his beauty? Is to ensure by the mercies of God, we enter into his rest. Hallelujah. Hebrews 4 tells us that there is no longer any need for us to struggle with those of us who have believed must enter into his rest i want to encourage you to enter into his rest shut the door shut the door against your adversaries against all those lies of the enemy shut the door against the distraction i want to encourage you negativity shut the door against those negative suggestions that are coming bombarding your mind you know because the devil has lost these 359 days is to show you that these six days that are left, if you are not sensitive, you can still want to play fast one. But thank God for this program. This program has helped to fortify you and fortify me to prepare for the overflow that is coming in the month of January by the grace of God, 2024. So why don't we begin to appreciate him and begin to say, Father, establish me. Ask him to establish you in the remaining days that are left. What is that thing you are still trusting him for? Oh, say, Father, establish me in holiness and in righteousness. You don't want to enter the new year with any spiritual junk. Why don't you ask him to purge you? Ah, we are talking about perfection of the beauty of God. There are some things that must go. Just like a junk, you know, when, when, when you are cleaning up your house, you are, when you are expecting, or if, even when you are moving to a new house, you clean up. We are moving to a new house. We are moving to, we are on a new journey. We are going to a new year. So why don't you begin to say, Father, Lord, purge me, cleanse me from every unrighteousness. Every junk that has come into your life in this 2020, you put your hand in your heart. Ask God to remove every stone in heart and give you a heart of flesh. Have you not surrendered your life? Say, Jesus, or even if you have, say, I rededicate my life. Oh, it's not a part. It's not a thing of the flesh. It's not something. It's not a cliche. Oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. It is action. It is active. When that challenge comes, what is your reaction? Do you believe, do you know that the King of Kings, the all-powerful, the almighty God, like we just read, do you know that the Prince of Peace is in you, is with you and for you? Oh, open your mouth and appreciate it. Father, I just want to thank you for the salvation of my soul. Father, create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit within me. That's what Jesus came to do. He's the Prince of Peace. And Lord, I receive your peace. I enter into your rest. No more struggle. Ask God to take you to that place of rest. Ask him to take you to your own robot. You know, Isaac, there was contention with the headsmen at Gerah. You know, they fought with him when he dug well at Sidna, at Essek, uh, until he got to Rehoboth. 
And when he got to rain, what he said, the Lord has made room for me. Finally, the Lord has made room. I want to pray for you that finally, the Lord will make room for you. As you enter this year, as we cross over in a few days, to the year 2024, the Lord will make room for you. In the name of Jesus, I ask you to say amen to this. I'm praying for you that no more struggle, no more contention, no more contention with those headsmen. Oh, from Essex to Signa to evil ray robots. I pray that God, Father, push me. Take me to my ray robots. Why don't you say, Father, take me to my ray robots. Your ray robot is the place of fruitfulness. Your ray robot is where there's room for you to expand, enlarge your coast. Your ray robot is where God secures you. And no enemy, no stubborn pursuer comes after you. I pray, oh God. Everybody takes their hands off. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that all your enemies, your stubborn pursuers, who have waged war against you, who have pursued you this far, that this is time for them to be drowned in the Red Sea. It is time for them to be drowned in the Red Sea of 2023. Because for you to cross over victoriously, like the children of Israel, the Red Sea was parted. And the Red Sea was parted. They entered on dry ground to the other side. I want to pray that God will clear the way for you. He will part every Red Sea and you are crossing over with all of you. All the children of Israel, none of them was drowned. None of them was drowned in the Red Sea. I decree upon your life, none of you and your family will be drowned in the Red Sea of 2023. <laughs> Instead, it is your enemies, your stop and pursuers that will be drowned in the Red Sea. Say, Father, let all my enemies, my stop and pursuers be drowned in the Red Sea of 2023. While I cross over victoriously on dry ground with my entire family to 2024, say, Father, clear the way for me. Oh, he said he would go ahead and make every crooked way straight and the rough edges smooth. Isaiah 45. We round up with that declaration. Isaiah 45 has terrible sotoria. Rema Shandaria Masutra Leva. Malika Tarava Shediria Masutoria. Say, so says the Lord to his anointed. To Cyrus, whose right hand I have held. So subdue nation before him. Yesterday we did the dominant mandate. Subdue nation. And lose the arm of kings. So open before him the double doors. That's why we say lift up your head where you get and be lifted. Remember 2024, Psalm 24, 7 to 10. Is lift up your head where you get. So those first seven days, we can't go for January 1st, but this prayer is starting on that day. That's it because we are crossing over to the second day. Second seven days. So we are actually going to be the first seven days in January. But I'm thinking between seven and it might be ten because it overflow. The theme of the last lap of this thou God of Wonders. This is God of Wonders takeover. The journal is going to be God of Wonders overflow. There's going to be overflow. Some things that, some blessings that are so much, so beautiful, are going to spill over. Hallelujah. If you believe, it's going to be overflowing. Your joy that God has brought today, we remember, is going to overflow. Going to be joy over who hallelujah he said he has called him to lose the arm of kings that means no matter how wicked no pharaoh <laughs> lose the arm of kings so pharaoh no matter how powerful he thought he was when it was time for the children of israel to be free <laughs> the lord lose the arm of, 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 of pharaoh and what happened to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. Say, Father, go before me. Travel ahead of me. To 2024. Make the crooked places straight. And rough elephants. And call the bars of iron. Hallelujah. God is going to cut the bars of iron. He's going to break in pieces in gates of bronze. Say, lift up your head, oh, you gate. And believe. Tell you. Two everlasting doors. The king of glory shall come in because he has made the crooked places straight. And for you to be able to enter freely. Hallelujah. And he said to call the bars of iron. I will give you the treasures of darkness. God is going to give you the treasures of 2024. And he will of the secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who call you by your name. Hallelujah. I'm the God of Israel. I want to pray for you as we round up. Say, Father, show yourself mighty. They have called me by the name. He called us by his name. We have been dealing with that throughout today, even in our morning prayers. We talked about that, how powerful the name is. And he said he has called you by, by his name. Why don't you begin to thank God for that faith 
begin to appreciate him as we run it. Say, Father, I thank you for the seal of promise. Thank you for calling me by your name. Thank you for the privilege. It's a privilege that God loves you so much. And he put his thumb on you. He put his label on you. I command every label that is not of God, that is not Christ-like, any label that comes with affliction, label of calamity, label of poverty, label anything at all, like Naaman, as rich, as popular, as renowned as he was, there was a box. Say, Father, turn my box to a plus. Every box that is a label following you. Oh, that woman, oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, but she's not yet married. Oh, this whatever. But, hmm, that but. Oh, don't you know her? They know your name, but they choose to call you by whatever affliction or whatever challenge it is. I want to cut off that label right now in the name of Jesus. And I wear you a new garment. I wear you a new label in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. I want to take one more song and we're going to round up very quickly with it. I, will, I only take the song that I have the right. Amen, amen. We're going to take a rise Find your light. The glory of the Lord is risen. And then after that, we are going to share our grace very quickly. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Arise, shine your light. The glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah 60 verse 9. Hallelujah. Ask him to arise on your behalf. And see darkness. This is also my song, Arise. The Lord will arise over you. Tell God to arise and shine in your life. Allah ask him to arise in your situation. The glory of the Lord is risen up on you. Arise, shine your light. Salvation is guaranteed. Arise, shine your light. The glory of the Lord. Is risen up on me. Arise, shine your light. Salvation is guaranteed. Arise, shine your light. The glory of the Lord is risen up on you. It's time to arise. Merry Christmas. Your healing is guaranteed. Arise, shine your light. The glory of the Lord is risen up for you. Arise, shine your light. Deliverance, your deliverance is guaranteed. Arise, shine your light. The glory of the Lord is risen up for you. Arise, shine your light. Ooh, breakthrough, your breakthrough is guaranteed. Arise. The power of the Lord is with us to me. Rise, shine your light. Your victory is guaranteed. Arise, shine your light. The power of the Lord is with us to me. Arise, shine your light. Your healing is guaranteed. Arise, shine your light. The power of the Lord is risen up for me. Arise, shine your light. Your healing is guaranteed. Your healing is guaranteed as we enter a new year. Glory of the Lord is risen up for you. Arise, shine your light. Your healing your deliverance is guaranteed. In these few days that are left, the law will perfect what is started in your life. The city that is set on the hill cannot be. Hallelujah. So, therefore, it is terms of that the path of the just is like the light that's shining. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Thank you for joining. This is the last lap. And we're just going to read our Psalm 91 as we do and share the grace. And you are free to go and shut the door, preparing yourself for victorious crossover in your local church. And of course, when we come back by the grace of God in January, it's going to be loaded. It's going to be powerful because it's going to be God overflow, joy overflow, peace overflow, anything you can call, which means God is going to do exceedingly abundantly above whatever you can ever ask or imagine. Imagine starting the year with that blessed assurance that not only will he give you peace, your peace will overflow. Guess what? That does not mean the devil will not stay trapped. That is his ministry. To stay kill and destroy. But remember that Jesus came to give life and life in abundance. And that is your focus. Your business is not what the devil is saying. Your business is what Jesus has already said today. Hallelujah. I'd like you to respond. Say amen. Those of you on Zoom, you agree with me. Your business is not what the devil is doing or is going to do. Your business is what Jesus already said. Because he's always a late comer. The devil is a late comer. Amen. Psalm 91, mm -hmm. let's look at it through. Let's look at it together. While we are rounding of sharing the grace, we who dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Who we say of the Lord is our refuge and our fortress, our God in Him we will trust. Surely He shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover us with His feathers and under His wings we shall take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our sight, and ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked. Because we have made the Lord who is our refuge, even the most high our dwelling place. No evil shall befall us, nor shall any plague come near our dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways. In their hands they shall be us up, lest we dash our foot against the stone. We shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent, we shall trample on that Because we have set our love upon him, therefore he will deliver us. He will set us upon high because we have known his name. He shall call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life will he satisfy us. Assure us the salvation in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, I commit, I don't know what that special need that you came to the altar. I want to agree with you. I believe you have surrendered your life. And if you have not, just say, Jesus, I implore you as my Lord and my Savior. I give myself to you. I have mercy upon you. Wash me clean. Remove my name from the book of death and condemnation. And write my name in the Lamb's book of life. Surrender all to you, Jesus. Have your way. And if you are also trusting God for healing in your body, I want to agree with you right now. Wherever you are watching or joining me from, I want to pray for you. I want you to lay hands on that part of your body. Masha Katala Brokus to Tobi Mashanda Liama Delia Mali Katara Makasu Praliba Yanda Yema Kutayanda Yi Leke Riba Satayama Kutayanda Ya Malakata Rebukus to Tobia. I plead the blood of Jesus. I go to the root of that matter, that problem, or that affliction. I command that situation to dry up. I command it to be 
terminate it right now. In the name of Jesus, I terminate every terminator of destiny, every power that wants to destroy or kill or steal. I command that the life, the Zoe, the life of Christ, the life and life in abundance, will be the portion of your children in the name of Jesus. You are God that rewards faithfulness and diligence. This your children have been faithful on this altar. But I pray that you reward them with your people. Then when we sow in righteousness, you shall reap the mercy. Reward them with your mercy. Let your mercy, goodness and mercy follow your children. In the name of Jesus, we have decreed. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace and fellowship. First of all, let's take our confession against Psalm 24, 7 to 10. Lift up your head, O ye gates, and be lifted you everlasting doors. The King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? Is the Lord strong and mighty? The Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your head, O ye gates, the one lift you up your everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts is the King of glory. Seven. Amen. All the glory must be to the Lord. Only He. Is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should give glory to himself. All the glory must be to the Lord. I hear my spirit take communion. So please, if you have your communion quickly, you can just take that communion. I want to pray with you. Father, anyone that is sick in their body, I want to break bread with you. I want to break bread with you. Father, Lord. To put in remembrance the finished work, I want to break bread with you to cross over. Communion is to cross over with you victoriously by faith. Because the next time we are coming like this is January. Father, we ask that you bless it as your children partake in Jesus. Take away every sickness and disease, whatever you have not planted, it is your posted. Amen. You may partake of it and thank God for your victory. Amen. It is settled in Jesus' name. I want you to write, it is settled. It is done. The God of all grace has done it. Perfect, established, strengthen, and settle you. And that communion we took was just to seal it up. Amen. Let us share the grace and fellowship. And shout our three hallelujah like we normally do. Wherever you are on Zoom, on IG, you can shout your hallelujah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. We shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Henceforth, let no man trouble us in our household. For we bear on our bodies the mark of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We shall live, we shall not die. We shall live to declare the goodness of God in the land of the living in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you for joining. Thank you, all of you that joined all the platforms. Thank you. You can shout your hallelujah now as we go. Amen. God bless you. Merry Christmas and a prosperous coming year 2024. God bless you. All right. So we can shout hallelujah here. Praise God for mercy and compassion. Hallelujah. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Christmas, man. Okay. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the King of Kings. Praise the I am that I am. Praise the God of victory. Hallelujah. Merry Christmas. God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you on Facebook. God bless you, everyone.